mataifa yote wamekutana wakamu wa Yesu ainuliwe Unajua ni kwa nini napendaka kuambia watu waseme kwa kabila yao maana kuna mapepo ya kijaluo mapepo ya kikuyu mapepo ya kikamba inaongea asi 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 nganga ndo kwenda otoa nganga ndo kwenda otoa nganga ndo kwenda otoa sema ndani yangu kutawaka moto moto wa bwana chochote kilipandwa kitachomeka peisho makovu yale mazuri Judges 2 number 11 to number 15 My message today is why are you disconnected why are you disconnected Kwa nini umetenganishwa Kwa nini umetenganishwa I'm teaching today 
Judges chapter 2 from verse 11 up to 15. Then the people of Israel sinned against the Lord and began to serve Baals. They stopped worshipping the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God who had brought them out of Egypt, and they began to worship other gods, the gods of the people around them. They bowed down to them and made the Lord angry. They stopped worshipping the Lord and served the Baals and the Astartes. And so the Lord became furious with Israel and let raiders, at and let raiders attack them and rob them. He let enemies all around empower them, and the Israelites could no longer protect themselves. Every time they went into battle, the Lord was against them, just as he had said he would be. They were in great distress. We are looking why people are disconnected from the help of the Lord. Why all those things are happening in Christianity? Why God is not coming to assist us? Something is wrong somewhere. This will prove to you whether you are disconnected or you are connected. The Bible says that they stopped worshipping the Lord. They stop worshipping the Lord. And the Lord stopped giving them support. Wherever they go out for war, the Lord would go against them. Mungu alienda kinyume chao. Instead of helping them, Kabla ya Mungu kuwasaidia, the Lord will help their enemies. Mungu alikuwa anasaidia maadui zao. Because they stop worshiping the Lord. Kwa sababu waliacha kumwabudu Mungu. And they worship another god. Nao wakaabudu miungu mingine. And because of that, na kwa sababu ya hiyo, they were separated from God's spirit. Walitenganishwa kutokana na roho wa Mungu. No matter how many years you are here, no matter you are the son of pastor No matter you are the wife or sister to apostle But the question is are you connected Do you have time with God Do you have time with God Do you worship the Lord do you have time to worship the Lord? And they stopped worshiping the Lord. And the Lord stopped, stopped giving them support. Instead of God giving them support, He went against them. So he would support the enemy. Wherever they go. Because they stop worshipping the Lord. Ask your neighbor, are you connected? Ask your neighbor, are you connected? Are you connected or you are disconnected? This is to prove how Christianity you are. That's why you can see people are coming here very early in the morning. Because they want to worship the Lord. And some will come here only when I'm preaching. They will have just only 15 minutes with me. Then they will say that message is too long. They will walk out and go. That's why you can see the difference of Christianity. That's why the enemy is abusing our marriages. He's abusing our, our families. He is abusing our life. Somebody say it is over now. Shema imekwisha. Shema imekwisha sasa. 
Do you know why I'm here with you today? Sijui kama unajua ni kwa nini niko na wewe hapa leo. Open your Bible the book of Malachi 2 number 7. Fungua kitabu chako katika kitabu cha Malachi 2 aya yake ya 7. I want to introduce you whom I am to you. Nataka kujileta kwako mimi ni nani? Somebody say yes sir. Mtu aseme ndio. Somebody say yes sir. Mtu aseme ndio mkubwa. Are you ready to know whom I am? Sijui kama umejitayarisha kujua mimi ni nani? Malachi 2 number 7. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7 This will help you to know whom I am. Na hii itakusaidia kufahamu mimi ni nani. So once you once we are with you. Kwa hivyo kila wakati tuko na wewe. You will benefit from me. Utakuwa ukipata kitu kutoka kwangu. Okay, I can benefit from you through your offering. Naweza pata kitu kutoka kwako kupitia sadaka zako. But you will benefit more than me. Lakini wewe unafaidika zaidi yangu. Read your Bible now. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7 It is the duty of priests to teach the true knowledge of God Ni kazi ya kuhani kuwafundisha wana wa Israeli People should go to them to learn my will Watu wa wako suppose watu waende kwake wakasome njia za Mungu because they are the messengers of the Lord Almighty Kwa sababu hawa ni watumishi wangu People should go. Watu wanastahili kwenda. And find my law. Wapate kujua sheria zangu. To them. Kutoka kwao. And the world is not ready to receive these guys. Lakini dunia haijajitandaa kupokea hao watu. Tell your neighbor you have to change. Ambie jirani yako ni lazima ubadilike. You have to change. Ni lazima ubadilike. If people can honor their court. Kama watu wanaweza heshima koti zao. What about the court of our God? Je, na koti ya Mungu wetu? If people can honor the judge who can judge only the physical world. Kama watu wanaweza kuheshimu waamuzi ambao wanaamua kuhusu mambo yanaonekana. What about the judge who has the power to judge to judge spiritually? Je, na muamuzi ambaye anaweza kuamua juu ya kiroho? And the Lord spoke to me. Naye Mungu akaninenea. That's why we are not raising Diposa hatuwezi kuinua akizazi ambacho kina uwezo I'm feeling pain in my spirit Ninasikia uchungu mwingi katika roho yangu to see thousands of gathering kuona maelfu la kusanyiko la watu and the end of the meeting lakini mwisho wa mkutano no one will think about the move of god hakuna mtu anayejali kuhusu hali ya upito wa nguvu za Mungu whether god is now minister or he is not there kama mungu ako kati yetu ama hayuko people are shouting in the church watu wanapiga kelele kanisani and the end of the service lakini mwisho wa ibada no one is asking who is sick here hakuna mtu wa kuuliza ni nani aliye mgonjo hapa no one is asking who is going to who would like to accept jesus ama ni nani angependa kuokoka we just gather just for collection tunakutana tu kwa sababu ya kukusanya we just gather just for entertainment tunakukutana kwa sababu ya kutumbuizwa we don't care whether god is there or not hatujali kama mungu yupo ama hayuko look at my sign there Angali, the holy spirit is on duty now angalia kibao changu kinasema roho mtakatifu ako kazini sasa if i can put this sign kama naweza weka kibao hiki i have to see every day whether the holy spirit is here ni lazima niangalie kila siku kama roho mtakatifu yuko and the bible say na biblia inasema people should go to my servant watu wanastahili kwenda kwa mtumishi wangu and he can teach them na wapatie maarifa to stay in my law wakae katika maasheria za mungu if you have the law of the lord with you kama una sheria za mungu ndani yako the law will protect you sheria hiyo itakulinda and jesus said na yesu akasema you shall hear the word utasikia neno and believe the word na uliamini and the word shall set you free nalo litakuweka uhuru nataka kuona watu wakibadilika i want to see people changing mpatie bwana sadaka ya makofi ask your neighbor are you connected uliza jirani yako umeunganishwa 
From today I would like to ask you. I would like to I would like to see you Kutoka checking yourself. Leo ningependa kukuona ukijiangalia. Wacha kukaa na kiwokovu tu cha kusukuma. Hata gari tukienda petrol station tunapima oil, tunapima diesel, tunaongeza oil, tunaongeza maji. Wacha kukaa na kiwokovu ambacho hakina maana, hakikusaidii, hujui kama unakufa, hujui kama umeshikwa, hujui kama ni shetani anakupiga, hujui kama ni Mungu amefunga milango yako. We unakaa na kitu ambacho hakina faida. Sema ni shindwe hiyo. I want to see the movement of the Holy Spirit in my life. Nataka kuona nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu zikitembea kwa maisha yangu. Siwezi kukaa hapa nikisema kila saa, "Rishi, pokea shamba, pokea magari, pokea manyumba, unaenda kulala ukinyongwa." Something is wrong in your spiritual world. Kuna kitu mbaya katika ulimwengu wako wa roho. You can ask yourself why I'm not blessed. Jiuliza ni kwa nini mimi sijabarikiwa? Umesikia huyo mama watoto wake wote watatu, mmoja ameenda operation tatu, mwingine alikuwa anaenda na sasa amekuja. Hata ule mwingine alikuwa aende imeondoka. Those are demons. Bwana yake ana gari na hawawezi kutembea na ile gari sababu atafanya accident. Hapo hakukuelezea. Wana gari kwao na hiyo gari haiendagi wanaiweka pale kwa sababu wanahisi itafanya accident nataka kuona mkibadilika sasa amekuja ameenda ameponywa nataka kuona ukiwa umeponywa mara kumi nataka kuona baraka zako sikitiririka kama maji kama umepakwa mafuta tembo ishalaya hana uwezo katika maisha yako jumapili nilikwambia utapita katika tiao wapende waspende na kila bwana ameanzisha atakamilisha sema yeye yeah. should go to god servant to teach you i'm teaching you to be general commandant no. chief general commandant nawafundisha no. kuwa majenerali wakubwa <coughs> Wakiiba kitu chako unasema hata hii siwezi pelekea aposto hii ni saizi yangu nitaifuata. Hello! Maandiko yanasema watu wako suppose kwenda kwa mtumishi wa Mungu awafundishe, awaconnect, awaeleze vile Mungu anasema. Malaki mbili mstari wa saba inasema muje kwangu na ninakuambia leo jitayalishe maana ni wakati wa Bwana anataka kuinua watu katika nyumba hii ni wakati wa Bwana anataka kuinua mtu katika nyumba yenu Daudi amepatikana Daudi amepatikana kwenu Daudi amepatikana Halo Ni wakati wa Mungu kuchukua mtu mmoja kwenu ambaye atakwenda kubeberusha bendera ya Kenya ambaye atakwenda kubeberusha bendera ya baraka ha, ni wakati ambapo Mungu anataka kuinua watu nyumba hii ambapo atakwambia nilikuja hapa na na slippers na sasa hiyo basi ni yangu hiyo rodi ni yangu hiyo duka ni yangu sema ye inaitwa kingly spirit we conquer hatuitishi funguo tunaingia na mlango hakuna kuomba funguo tunaingia na mlango hakuna kuomba ni kuchukua kile ambacho waliiba kwetu sema ye people should go to the priest watu wanastahili kwenda kwa kuhani for him to connect them with the knowledge of God. Ili waunganishe na maarifa ya Mungu. Soma kitabu cha matendo ya mitume Acts 10. Number 4 and number 5. I'm preparing our meeting. What is the meaning of our meeting today? Acts 10 number 4 and 5. Soma. He stared at the angel in fear and said, "What is it, sir?" The angel answered, God is pleased with your prayers and works of charity and is ready to answer you. Thank you. Malaika wa Bwana akamwambia Bwana amesikia kazi yako. Bwana the Lord has heard your prayer and he is on the way to answer.
answer you I'm telling somebody today the Lord has a hand in your prayer and he is ready to answer your prayer the Lord has a hand in your prayer and now he is ready to answer you somebody say yes Lord Ten thirty-four and thirty-five. Papa was telling Mukachin. Chapter ten, verse thirty-four and verse thirty-five. Peter began to speak. I now realize that this is that this is true that God treats everyone on the same basis. Those who worship Him and do what is right are acceptable to Him, no matter what the race they belong to. No matter what the race. Maandiko yanasema hivi wapendwa. Malaika wa Bwana akamwambia Bwana amesikia maombi yako na kazi yako imepokelewa. Sasa ondoka. Bwana anataka kukujibu. Sasa ondoka. Uende kwa mtumishi wangu yuko pale. Anakaa kwa nyumba ya Simoni na huyo akaenda na usiku huo Petero alikuwa ameota anaona nguruwe anaona wanyama wasioliwa ah alipokuwa anatafsiri the holy spirit came upon him and he told him somebody is coming kamwambia kuna mtu kwa mlango ambaye ametumwa na koroneo petero alipoamka akasikia roho akimwambia kuna watu wanakuja usiogope enda nao alipowaona petero akasema i know and now i know that sasa nimejua mungu anawahudumia watu wote kwa kawaida peter began to teach i now realize that it is true that god treats everyone the same basis those who worship him and do what is right are acceptable to him no matter what race they belong to no matter what lays they belongs to those who worship the lord and do what is right they are acceptable by the lord wale wanamwabudu na wanatenda haki wamekubarika they are acceptable they are already accepted by god no matter what race no matter no matter no matter their background no matter their background no matter their background those who worship the lord and do the light na wanafanya haki no matter their background haijalishi wametoka wapi they are accepted by the lord wamekubalika na mungu the lord is complaining about the worship naye mungu analalimika kwa sababu ya hali ya kuabudu i like worship the lord napenda kumwabudu mungu i like to have time with my god napenda kuwa na wakati na mungu wangu Last week I showed you my picture. Juma iliyopita nilikuonyesha picha. I was just coming from worshiping the Lord. Ambao nilikuwa natoka katika kumwabudu Mungu. I was coming from fasting 3 days. Na nilikuwa nimetoka kufunga kwa siku tatu. Sometimes I lock myself in the house. Wakati mwingine ningejifungia kwa nyumba yangu. For 6 days. Kwa siku sita. Being with the Lord. Nikiwa tu na Mungu. That's why I got this ministry. I want to go back to my prayer room. Nataka kurudi katika chumba changu cha maombi. Because I want to extend my ministry. Kwa sababu nataka kupanua huduma yangu. I want to extend my vision. Nataka kupanua maono yangu. I want to see God in my season. Nataka kuona Mungu kwa wakati wangu. Oh, Jehovah, I want to see you my father. Mungu wangu nataka kukuona. In this ministry. Katika huduma hii. There are so many people are crying for me now. Kuna watu wengi sana wananililia. They are asking apostle Nganga. Na wanauliza mtume Nganga. Why don't come this side Kwa nini hauji mahali tupo Who is going to help me Ni nani atakayenisaidia Who can go with me now Ni nani atakayeenda nami Who can go with me now Ni nani atakayeenda nami I'm feeling lonely Ninasikia upweke I want to go in the ministry Nataka kuenda katika huduma Because people are waiting Kwa sababu watu wanangoja And the Lord has confirmed to me Naye Mungu ameithibitisha kwangu I'm feeling pain in my heart. Nasikia maumivu kwa moyo wangu. 
because God is asking kwa sababu Mungu anauliza who is there nani aliyeko who will go on my behalf ambaye ataenda kwa niaba yangu to rescue my people aende akaokoe watu wangu how do you feel when people are distressed tunasikiaje wakati watu wamehuzunika and you have something to help them na uko na msaada wao how do you feel apostle nganga unasikiaje mtume nganga when people are when people are oppressed this lamb wakati wakati watu wamegandamizwa and you know god has chosen you na unafahamu ya kwamba mungu amekuchagua una stahili kuabudiwa let me show you this picture hebu nikuonyeshe picha hii Then after some few minutes na baada ya wakati mdogo I would like to ask you to join my spirit Ningetaka kuuliza muungane na roho yangu and we worship the Lord Tumuabudu Mungu just for some few minutes kwa muda mchache tu inside the worship katikati ya kuabudu the book of acts 16:25 katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 16:25 wakati walikuwa wanaomba wanaimba praying, na walikuwa wanaomba the angel of the lord came naye malaika wa mungu akaja so during our worship kwa hivyo wakati wa kuabudu kwetu you can send your spirit now unaweza tuma roho yako sasa you can release your word unaweza achilia neno lako remember when you pray kumbuka wakati unapoomba or when you worship ama wakati unapowabudu your words god with your spirit maneno yako yaambatana na roho yako when you tell god you are worthy ukiambia mungu unastahili those words goes out with your spirit maneno haya yanatoka kwako na roho yako when you are praying wakati unapoomba your word goes with your spirit neno lako laambatana na roho yako and that's why god says na ndipo sa mungu akasema in matthew 77 katika mathayo 7:7 whatever you pray chochote ambacho mtakachokiomba i'll give you nitawapatia because once you join the spirit of the lord kwa sababu wakati unapoungana na roho wa mungu then you start worshiping the lord na unaanza kumwabudu mungu you will attract the spirit of the lord unaanza kualika roho wa mungu and to come upon you aje juu yako and during that time na wakati huo my dear friend rafiki yangu mpendwa you can pour out your spirit unaweza mimi na roho yako because god will be ready for you kwa sababu mungu atakuwa tayari kwa sababu yako i'm feeling pain ninasikia maumivu to see kind of these things kuona mambo kama haya wapi ule mama wa 1000 ule mama 1000 the lady who came with 10000 na stahili kuabudiwa Unastahili wewe Yesu wangu nastahili I can't believe my eyes I can't believe my eyes I can't believe my eyes Oh Ria kaba shandara kababa hindara ria ika inaba Oh glory to God Jesus Oh rikabina ria ndai kaurosha Glory to God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Spirit of the Lord. You are the mighty God. I surrender before you Jesus. Karibu. Unaitwa nani? Naitwa Wangari. Wangari? Eh. Umeokoka? Eh. How long are you in salvation? Nimekaa kama mwaka mmoja sasa. Mwaka bwana yako alikufa lini? Bwana yangu alikufa tarehe 2 Disemba. Last, last year, year eh. now y- y- this is two months eh how are you from that day i prayed for you nilikuja huko on thursday wakati ya deliverance na hata siko najua nikaombewa nikafanywa deliverance nikasikia ni kama mzigo mkubwa imeanguka nikasikia mwepesi siku hizi nasikia raha furaha ingine yani husuni ikaisha yenye nilikuanga nayo nikifikiria juu ya bwana yangu machozi nyingi oh, husuni kufinyelewa eh watoto wangu wametulia walikuwa wanaika huko nyumbani vibaya sana nasikia vibaya watu walikuwa na kupiga makelele huko nyingi sana kunisubua hata mchana wanapigana huko watoto wako eh wananinyima amani sasa wametulia wametulia eh. look at this picture where you as well ever you are watching this telecast well ever you are toa toa yote toa ya kwenu toa eh eh 
Wapi? Umekuja kufanya nini? Sasa wewe dio nani? Wewe dio nani? Muaji gani wewe? Ndio wewe dio nani? Naitwa Kulia. Kulia. Sasa uko wapi? Mimi niko kitogori. Oh. Ulimuua na nini? Niliua ndugu yangu Mazu. Eh. Ndio nitajirike. Eh. Mimi nitapo hospa. Oh, haya. Nataka bibi yake akufe. Ndio. Watoto wake wakufe. Na ndio namtakaje hivi na vile ati nitamwekea kazi. Haya. Hata mimi ndio nimemzubaisha alikuwa aende huko na Robi siji wakutane na nani? Eh. Akata maki huko. Haya. Nani alimwonyesha kuja huko kunistaki? Haya. Haya utashomeka. Una ni rahia alikulia. Kulia. Ni rahia. Tayo kutiko. Kutiko. Au dini wale aduma. I said the lady free. <laughs> Kuna yako alikufa last year December. December yake sahi alikuwa mgonjwa hatuna. Sasa wewe unafanya kazi gani? Nilikuwa nikuje huku tukutane na mtu mwingine anipeleke Gikomba ati nichukue laini za Gikomba. Sasa vile nilikuja kuuza manguo. Eh. Sasa vile nilikuja, huyo mtu akanizimia simu. Sasa eh, kukaa kwa stage, nikakaa kwa sababu niliamka saa kumi nikatoka kwetu. Sasa nikakaa kama saa tatu na nusu saa na hivi, nikaona acha nienda kwa pasta nganga nikashtaki shetani huko. Inamisha uso wako Bow down here, worship the Lord some few minutes now Worship the Lord for a new connection You are the King and God Almighty You are the Jehovah Nipa Yeah, somebody, somebody talk Ni wewe baba yango Ya wabu ya waisa yango yote Ni wewe baba Oh Yeah. 